What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have another rust -Oleum video. Uh, this one comes from a suggestion from Derek Flores. He uh, left a comment on the last one and said that I should try a uh, violet blue and uh, add some red pearl to it. So that's what we're going to do today. So check it out. Uh, one of the spray cans that I found just closest to the violet blue was just this one. This is the navy blue. It's a true navy. So we're going to spray this one and for the pearl I have some cherry pearl so we're going to spray some cherry pearl into the clear and for the clear coat I'm using the Besney so this is one of the cheapest uh, clear coats that you can find on the eBay it's actually $61 for the gallon kit so it comes with a gallon of clear coat and a quart of activator so it's really great on the budget and as far as these, fa these past few uh, projects that I've sprayed it's doing pretty good so I'm gonna leave the links for that one as well in the description so you guys can check it out. So let me go ahead and flip the camera and show you guys the fender. All right, so here is the fender. And this one was just an experiment back then before I sprayed my car with the Baku Red Pearl from Eye Candy Pigments. So this was over black, white, and this was over the color that I had already had on my car, which was a pearl rose. So this, the fender is already sanded down with 800 grit and just getting ready to just uh, start spraying. Okay, so this is the first coat and just giving it a few minutes just so it can just flash dry. Just let it come back to its matte color, the finish. Uh, there's still a little bit places where it's still just a bit wet, but that's okay. We're going to give it a second coat. After the second coat, we'll let it dry for at least half an hour. That way it can like fully dry and then we'll continue with the clear coat. So this paint right here is the Ultra Matte True Navy. So it doesn't have any type of metallic, it's just the blue paint. But um, it does have really good coverage. So let's go ahead and continue with the second coat.
Okay, second coat, and that should be good for our base. So I'm just gonna give it at least a good half hour so it can just completely dry, and then we'll come back with the clear. But check out this color. This is the True Navy, I'll turn on the flash. Just True Navy. And um, yeah, it's really good. Okay, so here's the clear coat and Here's the um, the pearl, so this is the cherry one. And on the last video, I used this one. It's like a little teaspoon, but I actually filled it up. It had a little mountain of pearl on this little teaspoon. And I think it was just a little bit too much. So on this one, I'm gonna try just a little bit less. We'll go ahead and start with this. And we'll see what, what it does. So I don't actually want to change the color of it. I just want to, you know, add an effect. So let me go ahead and just mix this up. All right, here we go. So this is the cherry pearl over True Navy. So that was barely the first coat and we're starting to see the effect on it but the majority is still blue so let's go ahead and give it another coat. Okay, so here it is. So the primary color that you see is of course the blue, like glossy blue, navy. And it does have the pearl. Here it is, straight straight ahead. Um, no flash. Today is kind of cloudy, but here's the flash. Let's get up close. So there's the pearl right there. I didn't go all out. This was just a little bit of a pearl um, on that little cup that I mixed. But there's the color, blue with the with the cherry pearl. So let me know what you guys think. Um, so I hope this was the. Uh, outcome that you guys were uh, expecting um, I added just a little bit less pearl than the last one the black uh, the the, um, the black one was more kind of did a color change a little bit because uh, it was a little bit too much pearl but on this one I just added a little bit less so just to make an effect so of course you see the the blue which is you know like a very prominent color uh, but you also notice that it's something different about it but today's not a whole lot of sunlight out. Right now, I'll pull this out into like out and check with the natural lighting. But um, without a flash and up close, mm, just looks like that color. 
And let's turn on the flash. And there it is. So, all right, so what do you guys think? Um, before I close the video, this is a little bit of sun, because it's pretty cloudy today. But uh, there's a little bit of sun, so let me go ahead and take out the fender. Okay, so here's the fender out in the natural sunlight. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate there's not a whole lot of sunlight today, but uh, let me lock that in place. I'll turn on the flashlight and there's some of the pearl. I hope you guys can see it. Um, right here. So it does have the cherry pearl over this uh, true navy and Overall, like you can still see, like in person, you can see the difference. You know, it almost looks a little bit purple on the fender. Overall, still, still nice. Like the difference that it makes. And I even added a little bit of pearl over here on this one, which was the color of my car. <laughs> Um, you won't be able to tell because, you know, the overspray from the other blue color. And then from this one is the Pearl Rose. Well, actually, this is the Baku Red over the Pearl Rose. But, um, yeah, just nice, nice colors. Alright, guys. So that is going to be it for today's video. Um, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more experiments like that. More Rustolian paints, with some pearls over them. Uh, see what comes out. Um, this is just to show you guys that uh, you don't need expensive uh, equipment. I'm using the Spectrum HTE from Harbor Freight. With the uh, at this moment, I'm using the Century Pneumatic. Uh, it's a 29 gallon. Um, and for the paint, it's just Rustolian paint, the Ultra Matte, and a $60 clear coat. So this is uh, in case. I've painted, you know, like cars with Rust-Oleum gallons, but I've never added clear. So I used to do like $60 paint jobs. Uh, so here it's an opportunity to do like under $100 paint job for a complete vehicle. And with Pearl, I mean, it, out in the street, you can fool the public, you know. They will never know it's a Rust-Oleum with uh, $60 paint, $60 clear. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit, hit that thumbs up and I uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. That's it. Peace out.